Looking for a spacious modern office or retail location with plenty of parking, main road access and storage facilities? We have a double ground floor unit with separate entrance foyer, kitchens and second floor office space too, all for rent as one unit. This completely independent suite is fully glazed to the street. The tenant can also use the entrance hallway for display too and has high speed internet available. Located in Soy Chaya Brook 2, opposite the sports stadium. Call Fabulous TV on 0800 724 609 for details. Fabulous 103 FM with crew fun at Thai time. Good morning. Sabadika. How are you? I'm fine. What are we going to learn today? The tea suit. What is D? D is good. T suit is the best. best. The best. Yes. D T suit. Yes. Ahan D T suit. The best food. The best yes. meal. Yes. Yes. Correct. D T suit. D T suit. Okay. Fan D T suit. Girlfriend is the best. <laughs> yeah. Best girlfriend I've ever had. <laughs> Fan D T suit. Correct. Oh, I like that. She's going to love you when oh, you say that. Oh, God. Can you just imagine when you say that? <laughs> of all the girlfriends I've ever had, you come out tops. Fan DT suit, the best girlfriend. She's going to smile. Mm. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Do you remember the days when you woke up to a newspaper on your doorstep and relied on it for the latest news, special events, and even to find out what was going on in your region? as long as you got it before the dog. <coughs> Nowadays, often local newspapers can't keep up with the news. Alwayspratia.com is your free internet newspaper for the region. Updated early every single day with fresh content, even a daily Thai lesson. And of course, the best savings and discounts in the city. Just like a newspaper used to be. Just click on the pages you want to read. All at alwayspratia.com alwayspatia.com your daily newspaper fresh current and without any bite marks Thailand's neighbour, Malaysia, will see a complete lockdown on travel in and out of the country as of today, which will also restrict movement within the country too. Malaysian nationals returning home will be screened in order to self-quarantine for 14 days. Meanwhile, here in Thailand, emergency plans are afoot to enforce closure of busy public places. Those plans were presented to the Cabinet yesterday afternoon, and an initial response is expected from the Prime Minister today. Confusion amongst Thais is rife today, as many have assumed that they still will have a holiday next month, but it's been confirmed that the national holidays that's paid leave attributed to Song Kran will be cancelled to reduce the chance of city dwellers returning home and potentially spreading the virus, which to date has mainly affected people around the capital. This means that work continues for all, but with the promise of replacement holidays later in the year. Make no mistake about it, the COVID-19 virus is affecting Thailand now, albeit at a lower rate than in many other countries. Other plans include a provision to close down businesses in entertainment zones, along with theatres, cinemas, private and public schools and universities. And the initial steps, which may or may not include everything, will be announced this morning by the Prime Minister. It's believed that initially the plans will exclude smaller bars outside entertainment areas along with smaller restaurants. However, to comply, they may have to restrict the number of patrons at any one time. That's if a maximum number is set in new regulations. With the risk of transfer of the coronavirus too great now to ignore and other public gatherings banned, so sadly the entertainment industry is expected to temporarily have to close its doors too. Fears of unemployment of staff are of course rife and it's likely that many will leave the cities for their homesteads, which in some way defeats the objective. However, living without an income in a city is impossible. And if these bans come into play, well, the expectation is that they'll last for months on end. Why the sudden change? Well, whereas previously Thailand's total infection rate was around 60 to 70, with most recovered and released, 
Monday saw 33 new cases reported by medical institutions. To date, we're told the total number of cases here since the start is just 147, but 108 of those remain under care. 16 of the new cases were infected due to close contact with other infectees. 17 were recently arrived from overseas, and Sunday saw 77 students in temporary quarantine after returning from an educational trip in Italy, although most are expected to be fine, and it's just a precaution. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, the Entertainment Operators Association, a group of mainly Thai businessmen and women who operate much of Walking Street, have already thrown their support behind any decision made by the government, whether it's closure or non-closure. It's been a mad shopper's day in the city. It seems like everyone went for toilet rolls and, in a crazy fashion, rice in superstores. Shelves cleared, and despite a huge stockpile of rice around the nation, many bought more than a family could eat in a year. Here's the kicker, though. As a big C executive told Fabulous 103, the stores will simply be refilled by tomorrow, as national distribution centres carry plenty of stock, and suppliers have long been keyed into an expected rush. As to toilet paper, well, that's just greed. Our study of local businesses continues, as yesterday we spoke to some of the larger hotels, Holiday Inn and Avani, both have clarified that all guests and staff are protected from the virus. Everyone is using hand gel and customers must too. Food prep areas along with public areas are all spruced up regularly with cleanser to keep them virus free. And of course all hotel rooms are too. A complete and detailed procedure has been issued by both companies' head offices and is strictly adhered to, seeing staff checked on arrival too. Probably the cleanest places in the city right now are the larger hotels and more and more bars and restaurants in the region are insisting customers clean their hands with provided gel on arrival. And with the reminder that COVID-19 is a flu virus, one that most will simply catch and overcome within a week, not a plague, and to wash your hands every 30 minutes throughout the day. And the Met Office promising a chance of rain with a cooler day. Highs expected to be 30, dropping down to 27. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, this is Joe Parsons at the BBC Sports Centre. Chelsea have spoken to their midfielder Mason Mount to remind him of his responsibilities after he was pictured playing football with West Ham's Declan Rice. All of Chelsea's first-team squad are supposed to be in self-isolation after their player Callum Hudson-Odoi tested positive for the coronavirus. On Tuesday, the heads of European football clubs and players' representatives will meet to work out how to resolve the remaining matches in the football calendar. Postponing Euro 2020 has been suggested, as well as holding a mini-tournament for remaining ties in the Champions League and Europa League. The Manchester United striker Odin Igalo has been speaking to the BBC about becoming the first Nigerian to play for the club. Igalo moved in a loan deal in January and is delighted to have signed for his boyhood club. For being the first Nigerian to play for Man United, I uh, say it's great for me. It's a great achievement for me, which I'm going to cherish all the days of my life. It's not easy, you know, to dream something and it comes to pass. Not only coming to pass, you're living the dream at the same time. So it's, it's a great feeling, you know. I can't open my heart and express it out so that people will see how it is. But I know every day I'm living my dream and I'm happy about it. West Ham will be able to hold their remaining Premier League fixtures at the London Stadium, even if the season is extended beyond its current May end date. The Hammers are tenants at the London Stadium, which has Major League Baseball and athletics events planned that could have created a problem. But the detail of the Hammers' agreement with the landlords to use the stadium contains an overriding priority principle, which gives them priority until all their competitive home fixtures have been played. For more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com forward slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. It's that time once again on Fabulous 103. 
It's universally challenged with our regular contestants. Change to the lineup as of yesterday, where we saw Megan the Midget take the lead mm. against the Grey Fox. Uh-huh. Please it again. <laughs> Probably. That's all part of the game, isn't it? It's the most corrupt game show in the as world. As long as you let me cheat, though, and not him. Well, I'm doing my best. Okay. I'm, I'm See, I, I'm, I'm an honest Leeds boy, so I do it mm. without right, cheating. Right, right. You know? you believe, everybody yeah. believes this, don't yeah. they? They really, really do. So what have you been up to, Megan? Uh, nothing much. Gymming, as usual. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clubbing? No, no. I've been, I've been good lately, actually. Necking? No. No? No, no. No, this, no, uh, no, no. I'm healthy now. Really? Yeah. It doesn't show, Sometimes. does it? What do you mean? Well, it doesn't, does it? Look, I mean, you there's look no as... more bingo wings. Look. They're wobbling. I hope the, cam- the camera's no, going to get that. The no. camera is going to... Oh, no. Oh, we... yes. No. Now they're staying in. I'm that, that is out. staying in. And if you cut it out, it's I, still going to be on air. Oh, yeah, my but that's, God. No, that's human to have you for your arms. That's fat. That's you, fat. Just, you just rose from your chair. You're just like a vampire bat. <laughs> and Grey Fox, good morning. Morning. Sorry to, to kick you out of your chair once again and come <laughs> in here, but I am now the quiz master for the mm. pres- near, near future mm. until we find some other you just missed us, cretin that yeah. I did. Yeah. yeah, Maybe we can find another cretin that will take that place where he's sitting <laughs> now and he can have his job back. But until then, it is time for Universally Challenge. Now, very, very simply, I give you the clue, mm. cryptic clue, to an artist or a band. You come up with the answer. And if you get it right, Megan, you'll be 2 0 yeah. in the lead. If the grey fox gets it right, that means that you're neck and neck. Yes. What's your buzzer going to be? Whitewash. Ooh. Mm. All right. Grey fox? Bingo wings. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Is, I think I deserve a win. That know, is hard. For him being mean. <laughs> that really is harsh, isn't it? To Mental be fair. abuse. Really is harsh. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Deep breath. The shortest hot season on record. Shortest hot season. Shortest on hot season on record. The shortest oh, hot season. I know. Uh, uh, whitewash. Megan. Five seconds of summer. She's got it right. I don't know how you're doing this. This is. Did you have you got a mirror behind me or something? <laughs> I don't even. It's so easy, Brookside. Uh, What's wrong with you? Oh, Megla is not. I, I, the I, shortest you know, season for a year. Congratulations! You're today's winner. I can't believe that you've done this. And n- <laughs> did you go in my office? No. For a year. Come on, no. It's I've been just sat the other sense. side and I'm thinking, yeah. oh, this is so easy. Right? But it's not. It's actually harder than See? it looks. But we have practice because most mornings I'll give you the clue and you'll get it right about two songs later. <laughs> <laughs> A whitewash. I can't oh, believe this. Easy. Yeah, pressure's on for tomorrow. Oh, it is now, isn't brilliant. it? Two zero. Can't wait for tomorrow now. Wednesday's <laughs> going to be the time. If you get, if you win tomorrow, that yeah, means I'm winning for the week. That you've won for the week. Without, yeah. we can just cancel University Challenge yeah. then, can't we? And you should have had the bet with me, shouldn't you? Oh yeah. Do you want to go back? It's too to late the bet? now. No, it's too late now. Oh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Don't be a drip. With not much rain, reservoirs low and the dry season approaching, Thailand can expect a severe water shortage in 2020. That can affect farmers, businesses, and of course the water supply to your own home too. But we can all do our bit to help. Why not be part of the solution, not the problem? If you have taps, showers or toilets dripping, get them repaired quickly. See a leak in the street? Report it to the water company. Wherever you are, turn taps off when you finish. And if you're staying in a hotel and spot water wastage, tell the receptionists. Because everyone in Thailand should be trying to save wherever possible. Don't be a drip. Jeff Carter here, still in Pattaya, Thailand. And uh, I've come mooching again today and I've gone down Soy 10 off Pattaya Klang. And have a look what I've found. I call it the Golden Temple. Look at that. Wow.
so there we have it, the Golden Temple as I call it. It's Soy 10 off Pattaya Klang or Central Pattaya Road in Pattaya. Well worth coming, ring some bells, bang the gong and take some photographs and some videos. Well worth a little trip out. Um, right, I'm off now. I've got things to do. So I'll see you all soon. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today I'm about a 15 kilometer drive south of Pattaya. I'm here to show you the very beautiful Vihan Sien Temple. Now this is a beautiful Chinese temple which is now used as a museum. It houses a unique collection and is believed to be the only one outside of China. So it's certainly worth a day out to come down here as it is very beautiful and very picturesque. Just look at it. Let's check it out. Heading around 20 kilometers south of Pattaya City, down Circumvent Road and close to the Silver Lake area, is the beautiful Vihan Xi'an Chinese Temple. The entrance fee is only 50 baht per person. This beautiful three-story temple dates back to 1987 and was built in celebration of the 60th birthday of the late King Pumipo Aduyadir. Vihan Sien is a cultural treat, housing three floors of exhibits and showcasing religious Chinese artifacts, donated by the Chinese government. A major highlight is the exhibition area, where you'll find a collection of pottery, ancient musical instruments, paintings and other collectibles of all kinds, of which some are up to 2,000 years old. There are up to 60 sculptures of various gods and goddesses, as well as Chinese zodiac dolls and animal figurines. Vihan Xi'an is open daily from 8am until 5pm. Enjoy a journey into the history of Thai and Chinese religion and culture. Things the British Embassy will never tell you. Part 1 Renting a bike is the nuts. It just is. And feeling that wind in your face as you fly through the roads on a big bike is even better. The freedom of the road is yours for the taking. And there are plenty of rental companies that won't ask to see a bike licence from your home country. Every year, the British consular teams work with hundreds of Brits who have bike accidents here. Some survive, some don't. Not having a license for the bike you rent can and will void all insurance cover, including your medical cover. Nothing worse than having the consular team calling your family and asking them to help you pay the hospital bills. Riding a bike is fun. Plan ahead, just make sure you have a bike license before renting. This advisory is neither sponsored nor endorsed by the British Embassy. No animals were harmed during production. It doesn't contain nuts and is suitable for vegans too.
น้ำทุกหยดมีประโยชน์ค่ะเนื่องจากปริมาณฝนที่ตกน้อยน้ำในอ่างเก็บน้ำแห้งขอดและฤดูแล้งที่ใกล้เข้ามาคาดว่าสถานการณ์ภายแล้งในประเทศไทยปี2563จะถึงจุดวิกฤตซึ่งส่งผลกระทบต่อเกษตรกรเศรษฐกิจและผู้ใช้น้ำทุกหลังคาเรือนทำไมเราไม่ร่วมกันแก้ปัญหาคะแทนที่จะก่อปัญหาคะ่ะทุกหยดน้ำมีประโยชน์ถ้าก๊อกน้ำฝักบัวหรือชักโครกรั่วซึมจึงซ่อมมันอย่างเร่งด่วนคะ่ะหากพบเจอท่อน้ำตามท้องถนนแตกชำรุดช่วยแจ้งสำนักงานประปาที่ใกล้บ้านคุณปิดน้ำทุกครั้งหลังใช้งานคะ่ะและถ้าคุณพักในโรงแรมและพบเจอการสูญเสียน้ำรบกวนแจ้งพนักงานต้อนรับเพราะเราทุกคนในประเทศไทยมีส่วนร่วมในการช่วยการประหยัดน้ำค่ะถึงเวลาแล้วนะคะที่เราจะต้องร่วมมือกันช่วยอย่างจริงจังน้ำทุกหยดมีประโยชน์ค่ะ